So if you're an enterprise developer and you're using Visual Studio 2019 for your development, you can now leverage the IoT Edge tools extension for Visual Studio. And Shin from the developer division is here to tell us everything you need to know. Hi everyone, thanks for watching the IoT Show. I'm Olivier, your host. We'll be talking about Visual Studio development for IoT. And we have Shin from the developer division. Shin, thanks for coming to the show. Nice to meet you, Olivier. Nice to see you and have you. Can you share with our audience a little bit about what you're doing with your team within the sure. developer division? Uh, I'm from the de developer division. I'm actually a program manager focusing on IoT developer tools. So we are trying to build a seamless developer experience in Visual Studio family, including uh, Visual Studio, Visual Studio Code, like Azure DevOps for I IoT developers. Cool. So until recently, uh, we had primarily supporting Visual Studio Code for IoT development, yep. whether it's IoT Hub, Interaction, or IoT Edge development. Um, recently, you guys have been pushing for enterprise developer using Visual Studio yep. uh, support into you know, Visual Studio 2019 for IoT development, right? Yep. So we're going to see a little bit of that because actually the IoT Edge extension is now GA. Yeah. It's out of preview. So exactly. we want to see what the workflow looks like for a developer working on Edge devices to create modules and then deploy them, debug them onto Edge devices using Visual Studio. Yeah, yeah. Let's uh, see what the experience will be like. Uh, so. Here, I'm actually showing the Visual Studio Marketplace page. Well, it's uh, our Agile TI uh, tools for Visual Studio 2019. So before that, actually, you have to install Visual Studio 2019, whatever the version you are using, professional, enterprise, or community. And, and we just timed that. It takes something like 20 minutes total, right? Because yep. we had to reset up the machine for yeah. <laughs> the demos right here. So basically, 20 minutes, and you're in business, right? Yeah, and later, once you've done that part, you just click the download button here. Yep. Uh, you will get a V6 package for your extension. Mm -hmm. And uh, open it, you can get this extension installed in your Visual Studio. Got it. So uh, after finish that part, you can actually go to the beautiful Visual Studio 2019 new project dialog. Yep. So here, you can create a new project. So how to uh, you know search for your IoT Edge project type here? You can do some filtering by click the button here. There is yep. a new section for IoT. Nice, just below games. Yeah, <laughs> games IoT. That's cool. So we will have more kind of a project type here, mm -hmm. but for now we have a IoT Edge uh, you know extension installed. So we are okay. only showing the three types of IoT Edge. Uh, project type for different uh, platforms, okay. including Windows, Linux, and even you want to do it in, like Raspberry Pi, there is a Linux ARM32 support. Nice, perfect. So for now, assume I am a, a Windows developer. I'm okay. doing everything on Windows. Uh, like my uh, IoT Edge device mm -hmm. is running Windows 10 IoT, and uh, the container type is a Windows container. Okay. So I'm just uh, go straight forward with the uh, uh, you know Edge IoT Edge for Windows MD64 support. Nice. But the experience will be the same for the developer targeting Linux uh, images for this. Yeah, Linux exactly. Right. So we have a cross compilation story for that. Mm -hmm. But uh, if you want to do some real uh, you know troubleshooting on real device, yeah. we have a blog post with detailed instructions. Cool. So uh, I'm just click the next. You are going to pop up uh, to specify your project name, the location. I'm just keep all the default value here. And uh, the next uh, window is, uh, you know, you, the Visual Studio will ask you to add your first uh, IoT module. So you may already familiar with uh, which is uh, what is the IoT Edge module. Mm -hmm. I'm just keep the, uh, skip that part. Yep. But here you might notice there is a drop down of uh, kind of a control here. Yep. We have a Visual Studio template. For yep. now, we have C sharp module, C module, custom mo module template. Okay. You can also browse the uh, module marketplace for all the you know uh, certified IoT Edge module published by Microsoft or our partners. You can search for some, you know, protocol translation like Modbus or PCUA here. 
just for you to easily get started for like protocol translation nice. or other uh, address service kind of a scenario. Nice. And I want to double down on the fact that this is not just the Microsoft One. Like the modules that our partners are publishing on the marketplace will show up there as well. Yeah, right? exactly. You can see. Uh, let me search for this. It's actually uh, from a partner. Got it. Yep. yep. Awesome. But for quick get started, I will switch back, create a C, C sharp module here. Mm -hmm. uh, you need to specify the module name and your container registry. Okay. Here, I'm going to switch to my Azure container registry. So I'm, I'm typing my uh, Azure container registry here. And you had, by default, you had a, a, an option to use a local um, container registry, right? So exactly. typically, if you're just like using Docker, you can uh, start an image locally, um, a, a container that actually will act as your local registry, right? Yep. 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 So uh, here is my Azure Container Registry. Uh, let me see. I'm going to click the Add button here. So Visual Studio will try to create your first project with all the project na name, module name you just specified. So here we have a new Visual Studio solution for mm. IoT Edge. There are two types of uh, project here. Uh, one is the uh, uh, special IoT Edge uh, project. You can see the deployment manifest template file here. Uh, it actually describes all the modules you want to build, you want to deploy, the topology, the routes between the modules. So the next project is actually just a .NET Core application. There is a a uh, program.cs file which take the Azure IoT device SDK as a dependency. Mm -hmm. So by default, the, the, you know, the template here is a filter module, which means uh, whatever the message you bridge to this module will be directly sent to the next uh, downstream uh, that's, module. That's the hello world of the, the module development. Of exactly. The yeah. So here I need to do one thing because I'm using my container registry. I might need to specify some environment variables here. Okay. Yeah. So here I'm going to do a copy paste my container registry credential and uh, save this file. Nice. So if you look at the uh, um, deployment template uh, uh, JSON file, you will see here we're actually uh, doing two modules here. One is the temperature sensor keeps simulating some data, like your temperature, the humidity mm -hmm. data. And then another module is actually the c -sharp module we are uh, working on here. Mm -hmm. And here you can see the routes between these two modules, basically all the message from the temp sensor will be sent to the uh, C-sharp module, and then later they will uh, directly be uh, piped to the cloud Got side. Got it. So you have a level of uh, intelligence and so on to, to develop that file, to work with that file? With yeah, the exactly. Yeah. So you can see this file actually relies on the schema file from the schema store, which means that if you uh, doing something wrong here. Let's see. We will pop up some, you know, warnings, yeah, arrows yeah. for you for some uh, intelligence. And then even you did something wrong, we will give you some hints, some nice. suggestions here. So right. Totally, totally integrated into the experience that the enterprise exactly. developer Exactly. Yeah. Yep. So next thing I might be interested in is like uh, is Visual Studio, right? Mm -hmm. Just press F5 or click this button. Like the magic. Of yeah, the five. magic. <laughs> so everything will be handled by Visual Studio. You just uh, yeah. focus on, on so your. So what is it doing in the back end right now? What is it doing? So in the back end, we are trying to simulate the environment for okay. your uh, IoT Edge modules. You know, on your IoT Edge device, there is a security agent okay. for you to you know securely communicate between modules mm -hmm. and uh, the runtime. So how to do that in, uh, for your local development? Because you don't have those security things. Yep, yep. We actually simulate that in Visual Studio, so right. that you just focus on your you know real business logic in the C sharp code. Mm -hmm. And the press A5, everything is ready. You can see just a debug this one as a, just a simple console application. Okay. It's the same experience. So as I mentioned, the temp sensor will just send in the message to this uh, pipe module. You can see the, the data coming through the uh, temp sensor here. Great. So if I uh, get a so that meant that meant that actually because you're simulating the infrastructure of IoT Edge, yep. 
Uh, you don't need to have the infrastructure of the containers just yet at this point, right? You're basically working with the binaries, uh, and, and, and the binaries just act as if they were running on the ITH runtime. Exactly. You're actually de debugging a deal at Got this it. moment. Love it. So I'm seeing the message flowing. The next thing, perhaps want, I want to do some debugging. So I'm going to set a breakpoint here in my code. And you will see the breakpoint actually has been hit here. You can see the message string here. Nice. And, uh, if you want to continue, just click continue. There will be a new line of message showing yep. in your console window. Cool. OK, so, so Comfort of Visual Studio, full debugging of the module code right now, yeah, right? Yeah, exactly. So okay. it's quite straightforward because it's Visual Studio. Mm -hmm. I'm just going to stop everything. Assume I already have my module code ready. Yep. What should I do? Let's say deploy to IoT Edge device. Yep. So here, there is some new context menu. Bring, uh, you know, after you install the IoT Edge extension, you can build and push IoT Edge modules. Got it. So which means uh, uh, you are going to containerize the DLL file with all the dependencies into a container image. Mm. And later, you actually underline running the Docker push, uh, push the Docker images to your Azure Container Registry. So uh, it will be ready. Like um, It may take some time here, but I have a local cache. It's quite fast. So once you build and push, you want to do the deployment, which means that you want to send the deploy manifest to your IoT Edge device. So here, actually, we add the uh, IoT Hub support in the Visual Studio Cloud Explorer. Nice. You just uh, you know, expand your IoT Hub here, uh, find your, uh, IoT, uh, your IoT Hub with the Windows uh, you know, IoT Edge device. Got it. And basically, I suppose you can create a new IoT hub. You can work exactly. on the settings of these IoT hubs. You can, yeah. uh, you know, create a new IoT Edge device, monitor message, you know, uh, create IoT Edge device, general sales token. All the nice. actions are listed here. Awesome. So here is actually uh, uh, I'm running uh, IoT Edge on a remote virtual machine. So I'm using this IoT device and going to create deployment. You just click this file. And uh, switch to the repository. Uh, let me see. I think it was in uh, documents. In the or user page. folder. Users. There's one. Yeah, and, uh, and source. Source, exactly. Yes. Repos here. And uh, this is my uh, IoT Edge uh, project. And yep. we have a config file with everything generated just for your mm -hmm. Windows device. Nice. So click Open. You will see this file has been successfully uh, deployed to uh, uh, sent to IoT Hub, and the modules will start in, uh, pulling down to your IoT Edge device. So if you expand your IoT Edge device, you can see all the modules are spinning up. Mm -hmm. And then you can check the properties here. You can see the module has been connected, which means uh, it's running. Okay. And uh, another thing you can do it should be very interesting is like you can start monitor the device to cloud messages. So for that, for that specific device or yeah, device. for for yes. that specific device. Okay. So since I just mentioned, you have temp sensor, a pipe module. So basically, you will see in the uh, you know uh, temperature sensor data from uh, from the uh, simulated. Uh, module there. Mm -hmm. So uh, now you can see the telemetry has been flowing in the output window of Visual Studio. Nice. So uh, here you can see the, uh, let me adjust the window size. You can see the message from the, your IoT Edge device, the temperature data, the humidity, and the, all the, you know, the metadata from, from this uh, message header. Got it. Yeah. So now you're running on an actual edge device. It's it's virtually running, uh, you know, because it's a virtual machine. But it's yep. the actual runtime with the actual module coming from ACR as a container image, right? Yeah, exactly. So if you really want to check uh, if it's uh, still running on your device, I'm actually remote to this uh, IoT Edge device uh -huh. now. You can run some IoT Edge command here yep. to list the module here. You can see uh, module is run just deployed and start running. 
Yeah, and I guess you can see the status of the modules in the Cloud Explorer as well. Exactly. So right. here uh, you can switch back to the Cloud Explorer, check the property, everything is connected. Yeah. Like you can see the Edge Hub is connected, which means it's running. And if you switch to the temp sensor, also it's connected. Got it. OK, so things are flowing, actually, uh, in terms of information about the health yeah, exactly. of these modules within the Cloud Explorer and Visual Studio. Exactly. So here, I'm going to stop monitoring uh, the, uh, the D2C message here. Um, so you will see all the history here, but I'm going to stop. Um, so basically, you have already uh, finished uh, your first module development. If you want to add a second module, there is a new I uh, button here for you to add a new IoT Edge module. You go back to this window, whatever the language, the template mm -hmm. you want, or from Marketplace, you can just click Add. You will get a new one. Nice, typical Visual Studio. Exactly. You could do that manually, looking at the deployment template JSON file and manually yeah, add things, but yeah. it might be more tedious than just like click, click, just there. Yep, exactly. How about debugging on an actual device in Visual Studio? So if you want to debug on actual device, we, uh, we want to uh, show you how to do some settings here in the extension setting. Okay. So here, there is a, a IoT Edge tool settings for you to using Docker host to um, connect to okay. the Docker uh, engine running on the remote device. Mm -hmm. So we actually have a very detailed instructions on Docs, our okay. IoT blog. So you can look the details here because it really depends uh, you are running Windows or Linux, the settings, the steps might be a little bit different. Yep. But uh, the mechanics behind that is using Docker host to do remote debugging. Okay. The container is running on your actual device. And you're doing F5, F10, and, yep. and so forth directly from Visual Studio. Exactly. As if it were running locally, right? Yeah. Cool. I love it. Thank well, you. Well, Shane, there's a very insightful introduction to the tooling for IT Edge in Visual Studio. Hope to see you soon for more goodness. Yeah, thank you so much. Yeah. I'm willing to introduce all the developer tools for IoT developers here. And you will. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for watching the IoT Show. Don't forget to subscribe and check out the links under here for learning more about the Visual Studio experience for developing for IoT devices.